everybody. Today we're going to do a beam workout. Okay, I have my little beam behind me here. Now, if you're at home and you don't have a beam, that's okay. All you need to do is get a strip of tape. Ask your parents' permission first, or you can get anything with a line on it. For example, these are wood floors. There is a line I could use on the wood floor to do the beam stuff. So if you don't have a beam, you get tape. If you don't have tape, then you can just use something on your floor and line things up. I know that I've seen a few people get really creative and they actually put toys, like stuffed animals, in a line and that was their base for their line. They weren't stepping on it, but that's okay too. Okay, so we're going to do a very quick little warm-up and then we're going to get to our beam stuff, okay? So we're going to march in place like this, okay? March, march, march. Now, can you get your knees a little higher when you march? Can you jump like a bunny when you march or after you march? Okay, so it just looks like this from the front, right? Okay, now we freeze. Who remembers what this is called? This is called a safety landing. Whenever we bend the knees, put the arms in front, it's a safety landing. Now look at my feet. We're going to go up into a releve, come back down. We're going to see if we can do that quick 10 times. One, two, three, four. Can you balance? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to see if we can just make our arms go forward and back. Super easy, right? Now make them go up and down. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing with our legs. Can you swing your leg and not lose your balance? So from the side, it just looks like this. I'm just swinging. Okay, now let's go to the other leg. We're just swinging back and forth, getting our balance. Okay? All right, now relax. Now, we're going to do some yoga stuff on the beam as well. Okay? First thing is, you're going to step on your beam and you're just going to walk forward with your arms out to the side. When you get to the end, you turn around and walk back. Okay, that was pretty easy, right? Now let's make it a little harder and see if we can go in releve. That's on our tippy toes. So we're going to see if we can walk on our tippy toes all the way to the end. Once we get to the end, we can pivot turn or turn just like I did. And we go all the way back. And when we get to the end, we turn again. Okay, now rest. Now, do you remember that tree pose? Here, this is the tree pose. Let's just do it together. I hold my leg up here like this. This is our tree pose, right? We're going to try that on the beam, but first, we're going to see if we can do something called a passe. Okay? Actually, this is a passe up towards the foot. <laughs> Sorry. This is coupe, okay? Coupe passe. Coupe, passe, coupe, passe, tree. Can you do that with the other leg? All right, so first we start with the tree. Now notice I'm kind of helping my leg up here. If you can't do that, just hold it out, that's okay. All right, now we got a coupe. If you look from the side, it's just up a little bit. Then we got a passe, coupe, passe, coupe, passe, tree. Can you do it with no hands? Yeah, that one's a little more tricky. Now we're going to try it on the beam. All right, get on your line or get on your beam. Okay, pick a foot. Pick a foot. Coupe, passe, coupe, passe, tree. Ouch, I just bonked my knee on the table. That's all right. Now let's go on the other side. Ready? Coupe, passe, coupe, passe tree. And we the whole time we're trying to balance on the beam. All right, now we're going to try that one more time, but we're going to use arms. Okay, now watch this. Can you put your arms like this or like this? I'll let you choose. I'm going to choose to put my arms like this. Coupe, passe, coupe, passe, tree. Now in the tree, we're going to see, can we go up in a releve, which means lift our heel off the ground. Ooh, that's so hard. Now let's try it on the other side. Okay. We have, pick your arms here or here. We have coupe, 
passe, coupe, passe, tree. Now once we're holding the tree, can you lift into a releve? Oh my goodness, it's so tricky. And come down and rest. And shake it out, wiggle it out. You can even hop it out a little bit. All right, now let's get on to a little bit more of our jumps, okay? So let's go back to a releve, right? Can you hold a releve here? Now come back down. Put one foot a little bit in front of the other. So if you were to look at my feet, my feet would actually be like this. From the side, it just looks like this. That's how we stand on the beam, okay? Now I'm going to put my arms all the way up, bend my knees a little bit, and do a straight jump. Now, did you notice when I did that jump, I jumped straight up and straight down. I stayed right where I started. I didn't go forward. I didn't go backwards. I stayed right where I started. Let's see if we can do that three times together. One, land with bent knees. Two, tighten the tummy. Three, ta-da. All right, now we're going to go to do something a little harder. So we're going to have to do it on the floor together first. Okay, so... I'm going to bring my knees up towards my belly. This is called a tuck jump, okay? Can you do that at home? From the side, it looks like this. Now, yes, we're going to try that on the beam. All right, so remember how you put your feet on the beam? Get your feet in the right position. We bend the knees, tighten the tummy, and I'm going to bring my knees up towards my belly and try to land on the beam. This one's hard, so be careful. All right. And we land and keep it bent. Okay, we're gonna try three more. One, hold it, get ready. Two, hold it, get ready. Three, hold it, and ta-da, we did it. Now we're gonna go back to a balance move. Do you remember that airplane that we practice a lot? This is what we do. We lift the leg up, we put our arms behind us. This is a yoga move, but it's also a gymnastics move. Now we're gonna try it on the other side. Now notice I'm not on the beam right now, we're just practicing on the floor. We're gonna lift that leg up, our arms go to back to, by our sides, and we finish. Okay, now we're gonna try it on the beam. So, place your foot on the beam, start to lift up, this is our arabesque, and then we're gonna go a little lower, but keep your chest up and see if you can balance in an airplane. It might get a little tricky, so keep trying. And then put your foot down, put your arms up, and finish. Now let's try it on the other foot. So we keep nice, soft knees. It's what it's called when we have bent knees a little bit, soft knees. And then we lift up one foot in the air back, so my foot's behind me. I'm squeezing my bottom, squeezing my belly, and I start to lower down, but I keep my chest up just enough, and I get into my airplane. This is also called a scale or a low or a high arabesque in gymnastics. Now we come down, put the foot behind, and finish. Ta-da! Now we're going to get into even more tricky stuff. Do you guys remember the seesaw? We're going to do the seesaw on the floor. So we get into a lunge. One leg is in front. One arm is up. And we go seesaw. So when my hands go down my leg comes up. When my leg goes down, my arms come up. Let's try it again. See, saw. Now, jump, lunge, jump and switch. This is also looks like a warrior one position, right? We've done this before too. All right, and see, saw, finish. One more. See, saw, very good. Now, do you think you could try it on the beam? Oh boy. So first we get into our lunge. Nice big lunge, lift the chest, arms up to the ceiling. Now we just try our best because it's a lot harder to do this on the beam. All right, we go into the airplane almost, lifting that leg. We touch the beam and we come back up and say, ta-da. Now let's switch our legs. We want to do it on both legs. We try to figure out which leg is better, which one feels better, okay? So lift that leg in that arabesque, come down, and finish. Now, I have a funny story. I did better on my bad leg 
I don't know why that worked out, but sometimes that happens. But we want both sides to be equal and good, okay? Now, we're going to do a bear curl on the beam. This is going to strengthen our shoulder muscles. So we go down, hold the beam, and try to walk all the way across without putting our knees down. Now, the tricky part will be going backwards. Going backwards all the way. And then when we're finished, we lift our chest and say, ta-da. Now, we just talked about going backwards. Who thinks they could walk on the beam backwards? We're going to try it. Put your arms out to the side. Look at the end of the beam. Take little steps and practice walking backwards. I want you to keep practicing walking backwards. So important to be able to walk forward and backwards, no problem. Okay, now we're going to make it harder by going on our tippy toes. Do you remember what that's called? This is called a releve. That's when we get our heels to come off the ground. This is releve. Can we go backwards in releve? Oh boy, this one is much more difficult. Backwards. Whoa, I'm trying my best. Okay, great job. Now, we have a couple more things we can do that they don't get too difficult, but it's stuff that we want to try, right? So we're going to see if we can go sideways. I want you to put your arms up like this. Relax your shoulders, put your arms up, and just take a nice wide step going sideways. Now this is pretty easy, right? Well, I'm about to make it much harder. I want you to point at your knees. Point at your knees. Now, when I go this way, this leg is going to lift up. But it's not just going to lift up. My knee is going to go towards the ceiling like this. And then I slide over. My knee is hot towards the ceiling. Now I'm going to go the other way. So this leg, this knee is going to turn up towards the ceiling. Put your arms up, belly tight, kick and slide. Kick and slide. All right, very good. Okay, now there's many other things you can do on the beam, like cartwheels, um, rolls, tons of stuff. But those are things that really it takes a lot more time to get to, um, and we'll have to be practicing a whole lot more before we go there, okay? All right, guys, so I encourage you, even if you watch this video, you can do it a few times to help remind you what to do and how to do it safely on the beam. Okay, have a good day, everybody.